Hey guys, Stereotypical here. I wanted to talk about a uh, little piece of software that I've recently found. Uh, thanks to the uh, SPT Aki official Discord server. There's currently a discussion going on uh, about lossless scaling, and there even is a guide uh, on it written by Hazel. She is a mod developer for SPT. It's a relatively comprehensive but also pretty long. Uh, guide so for if for some reason you don't want to watch this video you can go here link in the description spt pub and find the lossless scaling guide but if you want a quick rundown i will show you how to do everything uh to basically double your frame rate because lossless scaling uses interpolation to uh, generate more frames disclaimer before i say anything this app is um almost seven euro or Six ninety nine dollars in dollars, obviously, uh, but it works wonders. So, if you're having issues with FPS, I would definitely encourage you to spend the seven dollars and make your gaming experience that much better. But yeah, anyways, once you open this, seems like a lot to um, understand here, but trust me, this is very easy. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a game profile. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can use it as your default, but I just want to, so I'm gonna do Tarkov. And then in filters, you go browse, and then you select wherever your SP Tarkov is and click on Escape from Tarkov and click Add. Disclaimer, also, I'm using a bit of an older uh, lossless scaling version because I had issues with the newest one. Uh, this version does not have LSFG 2.0, which I believe does improve performance for some, but also causes issues for some. So uh, you can play around with it with 1.1 and 2.0, uh, see what works best for you. But general rundown is. Scaling mode, this will be auto by default. Click on custom. Set the scale, scale factor to 1. Scaling style, LS1. This will be off by default as well. If you have a um, less powerful GPU, as it says here, you can click on performance. Uh, this does impact quality, so it does it will have slightly uh, worse quality. But um, if you have a slower GPU, you might consider turning this on to improve your frames. And under frame generation, you're going to select either LSFG 1.1 or 2.0. I have LSFG and this is the uh, version 1.1. You can click on performance. Works pretty much the same way as this performance, it's just for older GPUs, which don't have, have as much power, is going to be a bit more helpful for the frames. Next up, you have cursor. I would encourage you to turn on clip cursor and adjust cursor speed. Well, not this, we'll get to this a bit later. But uh, clip cursor, this basically locks your cursor to the game window because for this, you either can Set the game to windowed or borderless mode. This is how it works. Uh, lossless scaling does not work for full screen or exclusive full screen applications. Hide cursor, obviously don't want to hide your cursor. And scale cursor, this is if you're uh, running the game at a smaller resolution and then upscaling it using the scaling mode. This is what the scale factor is. It basically upscales your game. So let's say if you want to, if you want to reach 1080p, but you're playing on 720, you can set the scale factor to 1.5 and it's going to scale up to 1080. And uh, that's why you would consider turning on scale cursor and adjust cursor speed. <clears throat> Next, go on to rendering. Vertical sync, not really recommended. Um, you can just use vertical sync, just turn that on in game instead of here. HDR support, if your monitor supports HDR, turn this on because why not? It does consume a little bit, a little bit more GPU power and twice as much VRAM, actually. Interesting, but since I do not have HDR support for my monitor. I'm going to turn it off. And if you don't have HDR support, uh, basically all it's going to do is just going to make your screen super bright in game. So next up, allow tearing. You're going to have to turn this on because it, it reduces the latency, uh, but it allows screen tearing, which the trade off is worth it because basically what interpolation does is it, let's say you have 60 frames, right? It basically adds another frame in between those frames. So it basically dou doubles your fr frame rate quite literally. Anyways, draw FPS. This is if you want to see your lossless, like FPS with lossless scaling, because lossless scaling doesn't really like other, like game or like software overlays on top of it. It might cause some issues. So if you have like GeForce Experience or like a different overlay you're using, I would consider, consider turning that off. But I have been running RTSS just fine. So if you want to see your GPU, CPU power, and etc., you can leave that on. With MSI Afterburner, of course. And then next, on capture, I would recommend using DXGI. 
uh, WGC and GDI is a bit more demanding. Uh, set it to DXGI. And what you're going to do is you're going to open any capping, like FPS capping software. Um, I'm pretty sure primarily everybody uses RTSS to capture frames. And then you are going to, if you don't have Tarkov added, I'm going to show you how to do that. Click on add. Find where your game is. Escape from Tarkov. Click open. It's going to open right here. And then you're going to uh, want to set your frame limit to half of whatever your refresh rate on your monitor is. So I have a 240 hertz monitor. I'm going to set this to 120. You can minimize that. That's done. And the rest of this stuff, don't really care about that. Doesn't really change much in terms of uh, performance and stuff. Multi-display mode, it's... Oh, for multi-display systems, this enables automatic unscaling when the window loses focus, making it possible to use another display while scaling. Okay. I have I do have this off and I can use a second monitor, so I'm not sure what the behavior there is. Um I'll play with that though. Legacy, don't touch this stuff. This is just old things. Okay, first off, so the trade-off with using lossless scaling is that you're gonna have not too big of a too significant input delay uh while playing your game. So this is like primarily used people primarily use this for single player games, but since we're talking about Speed Tarkov which has um, not the greatest performance, obviously, because you're running the uh, Tarkov server off of your computer, which is adding a bunch of load to your CPU, much more than on live Tarkov, because live Tarkov obviously has their own servers. So yeah, input delay and, and input latency. There are a couple of ways to help mitigate that. You're going to have to go to your NVIDIA control panel. You're going to go to manage 3D settings. You are going to select lossless scaling, and then you are going to go to Vulkan OpenGL preset method, which should be at the bottom, and click on Prefer Layered on DXGIO Swap Chain, and then click on Vertical Sync, and click on Fast. That should improve your latency quite a bit, honestly. Now I'm going to try to show you how this works in game. Okay, so once you're in game, you're going to go to Settings graphics, and then either set your screen mode to borderless or windowed. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. Um, I run on borderless because, I mean, why not? I don't think it really matters. I Lossless scaling works for me on both borderless and windowed, but I just choose borderless. If it doesn't work for you on borderless, you can try windowed, and vice versa, obviously. So set that. I'm going to go to hideout. So I don't think I can find a way to show the actual lossless scaling side of FPS. But for you, it should be on the uh, top left corner, and you can see my RTSS FPS in the top right corner. And it will be half of whatever uh, lossless scaling is outputting. But currently, I'm getting around 160 FPS in the hideout. Alright, after doing all this, if you're still not seeing that much of an improvement, because you should already see a massive improvement even in your hideout, just chilling in your hideout, shooting your weapon, you know, whatever the hell you do in your hideout. Still doesn't didn't see that big of an improvement. You can start using or try using uh, the scaling mode. So what you're going to do is if you are on borderless and switch to windowed, you are going to switch to a smaller resolution. I am going to pick let's say 720p. Right, click yes, click save, enter. Then you're going to go to your uh, lossless scaling, the scaling mode custom obviously, and then scale factor. This basically increases how much your game is going to get upscaled. So so if you have your scaling skill factor, one I mean, and you just upscale uh, from 720, it's going to scale to your native resolution, which you won't see any improvement. But if you go on scale, and then you increase your scale factor by, let's say, 1.5, you can see that my RTSS FPS shot up to 120. That's because I am, I guess, scaling, essentially scaling down my native resolution by 0.5, which would, in this case would be this is a 1707 by 960, resized to 2561 by 1440, with a scale factor of 1.5, obviously. But obviously your game is going to look a little bit more lower resolution slash pixelated, but it will dramatically increase your FPS. I am getting around, like, if I just stand still, I'm getting 240 flat. But if you don't want your game to look so grainy, I guess, or like just bad, you can play around with the scale factor at uh, 1.3. Let's try this. 186, 190. So not too bad. And your game will look better the less you scale it by.
So this one was pretty much 1080p, you're right. And obviously if you have a 1080p monitor, for example, actually I can just um, switch it here. Right, so 1080p now, I'm gonna scale up to 1.5. And here you can see a resized from 720p to 1080, which is a scale factor of 1.5. But if you don't scale at all, just set it at one, it's gonna stay the same, 1080 to 1080 but with, still with frame generation on, obviously. But in-game, I'm still on 720p, and the game looks pretty much the same as 1080. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will leave all the, um, all the necessary links for lossless scaling and also the uh, Discord server to the SPT pub where you can read the lossless scaling guide and also check out the user discussion about the uh, lossless scaling. There's a bunch of people just chatting about sharing their um, FPS gains and tips uh, for fixing bugs or... If you have any problems, you can obviously ask. People are very helpful here. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. And I hope this was concise enough and fast enough for you. And yeah, I hope you uh, get some FPS gains. See you in the next one.